So whenever I do these types of videos, I never know exactly what to call it, what sort of video category to consider this type of video because I don't really want to call it a home vlog because it's not really everything that I'm doing specifically at home, but then it's not really a lifestyle vlog because this is not really a lifestyle. So to myself, I think I've considered it to be more of this like journal entry in my life. And I know that the majority of people watching this channel are probably watching for the theme park related content, which is totally fine, but it's important for me to be able to, and I've talked about this multiple times, but it's important for me to be able to see just myself where I am in my life to be able to look back on in the future, very much so like a journal. So that's why these types of videos are very sort of cathartic for me to be able to record just updates around the house or where I go with Brennan and, and I don't know, and, and just like various activities that I'm able to sort of combine into one video. This is going to be another like multi-day video probably because I think that that's really fun and it makes it a little bit different than the usual theme park stuff that I tend to upload. And, and again, it's important to me. So what I'm going to go do today is I'm going to go buy some stuff. The first of which is going to be a new iPhone because it is about time to get a new iPhone. This is the iPhone 11 and there's a promotion for the iPhone 15 at T-Mobile. So that's what I'm going to go do today. I already did my backup on this phone, but I also wanted to show this off before I forgot because I'm probably going to be playing this tomorrow. So I've been really into Avatar The Last Airbender. And what I did is I purchased all of the Avatar Wii games um, because we have a Wii and I never had to play any of these games. It's weird that the Wii is still a console that's kind of relevant to me, even though it's an incredibly old console now at this point. So I got the original game, the Burning Earth game, and then Into the Inferno. So probably going to be playing those tomorrow, maybe with Vernon. Um, then I also got this. So this is actually probably the coolest thing uh, because vernon has been rewatching the original series and I've been listening to the Avatar um, official podcast. This is the Avatar The Last Airbender art book. So this, this is just the entirety of like, just the original concept art pretty much for Avatar The Last Airbender and just all of the different like character designs for all of the characters just ranging across the entirety of the series. And it splits it up into each particular book of the animated series. I don't know, this is just like one of the coolest things and I've already skimmed through the majority of this, but I am so excited, like just to see what it went from the original pilot and, and, and concept of all of the original characters and just what it ended up becoming. I think it's just like really, really interesting. Just like, look at all this, look at what Aang used to be and all the secondary characters there. So definitely going to be reading that. Very excited about it, but I'm going to go uh, trade in my iPhone. This phone really was pretty awesome for a while. It just started to operationally malfunction and the photo and video quality started to get pretty poor recently. Looks like Chick-fil-A is having some renovations done to it, so I'm not going there for lunch. Okay, so I didn't get a new phone, but I did order a new phone. So there's some specifics for that, but I'm heading over to Home Depot now. So they just didn't have the physical phone that I wanted in stock. It is so windy, uh, so it's going to be delivered to the house. And I came to Home Depot because I need to buy a new lawnmower because the old one went <clears throat> All right, so I have my lawnmower and now I'm outside because I might want to purchase some plants. I think it's about to rain though, so if I'm going to do this, I need to do it pretty quickly. So I found what I was looking for. I am going to plant a tree in the backyard because I have not had the best luck with produce that I planted myself in the backyard. So I thought I'd purchase one of these citrus trees, which I thought about for a little while. They have grapefruits and lemon and guava, oranges, tangerines. They have avocados back over here, which is pretty cool. But I've already chosen the one that I'm going to purchase and I'm getting it in honor of my grandmother who had tangerine trees in her backyard. So I'm getting a tangerine tree. I have a lot of really incredible memories as far as those tangerine trees went with my brothers. So this will be really cool, I think. Hopefully, presuming that this is able to to survive to maturity. Okay, time to get all this stuff home and, and make myself some lunch. All right, I have the mower in the car and then my, my plan is all buckled up here for safety. It is incredibly windy today, which is actually pretty pleasant because it's so overcast compared to what it usually is. All right, so I made it home with the tangerine tree, which I did not know if that would fit in the car with the soil that I got and the lawnmower. And I'm a bit bummed that I ended up having to buy another lawnmower because my dad did give us a lawnmower to use, but it just stopped working. This is the cheapest one that they had and we have a small yard, so I'm sure that this will suffice, but I am going to go make some lunch now because I'm hungry. Arlo is very excited to see me. Look at this puppy in the wind. Right now, everything's blowing around in the backyard. There you go. Thankfully, it's been the colder months, so we haven't really needed to mow the yard, but 
the time has come to, to finally do some mowing. And uh, we've been using this over here, this push lawnmower that we got from Home Depot like a while ago. And Vernon really likes this because it's like a legitimate workout. But we need like a real lawnmower. Hey puppy! You want the ball? You want the... I was supposed to throw it. Wait, Arlo. Arlo. Hold on. Let me throw it, okay? You ready? You ready, puppy? Are you ready? <gasps> Go get the ball, puppy! Yay! Now bring it back! Bring it back! Bring it back! Or not. Why are you so proud of yourself? Why are you so proud of yourself, puppy? Give me that ball! You ready, puppy? Whoa! <laughs> Look at that wind! Look at that wind, puppy! Are you having fun? <laughs> okay, you ready, Arlo? Go get the ball! Go get it, puppy! Now bring it back! Bring it back! There you go, good job! Nice! Sort of, right? Almost made it? Okay, I'm gonna back up really far. Are you ready, puppy? Get the ball! Good boy! And now he's distracted. No, he got the ball! Good job, Arlo! But I didn't bring it back. Arlo! What are you doing? What are you doing with that ball, puppy? What are you doing with that ball, puppy? You like the ball? You like the ball, puppy? You want it? Yeah, get the ball. Yeah, puppy. So I'm in the spare room right now, and I just noticed that Calvin is right there behind the pillows taking a snooze. So this is something that Brennan got recently. She got for, for both of us to use. So this is a treadmill. It is a very inexpensive treadmill. And we've been having a lot of trouble with it because so we're probably going to end up returning it. And what ends up happening with this is that the belt gets like caught on one side or another. It's also pretty loud and, and it's just, it's not doing exactly what we expected and anticipated with a purchase like this. And we've tried to use it and like actually use it to work out. We put it in this room. You can even just hear how loud it is right now. Um, with the intention of like watching the television in here and just actually utilizing this room a little bit more than we usually do. Hi, Calvin. I think I woke him up with the, with this and I turn it off. Um, but yeah, so that's sort of a bummer um, because this was like a, a very reasonable price. And if it worked how we anticipated it working and, and being able to utilize this room a little bit more for that, and that would have been like super ideal, but I don't think it's going to work out because I've had to just so many times just troubleshoot this and try to figure it out and, and work on it and improve it. And it just has not happened. So I just think it's one of those, you get what you pay for sort of situations. Also, How I Met Your Mother, that concluded 10 years ago. How did that happen? It is getting really dark outside, even though it's very early in the afternoon. So I made my lunch here, which Arlo was currently staring at, which is rude. Um, but I need to eat this and then go to work. But this is my uh, everything sourdough bread with Munster and cheddar cheese and lettuce, tomato, and onion. And uh, in honor of my other grandparents, um, bread and butter, pickles, and then ham and turkey sandwich with some Fritos chips here. So I'm going to enjoy this and go to work. And I will continue this video tomorrow. So it is the next day. We just got back home from work. And sometimes you try to plan for things that just don't end up working out, which is very much the case right now. I wanted to grill some burgers tonight, but it's a little bit too windy. Yesterday was incredibly windy, but it's still pretty windy. Uh, and just, I don't know, our lighters are just not strong enough to light the charcoal. Uh, so I think this is a sign that we should just go get some takeout somewhere. Also, I put the tangerine tree outside. I'm trying to figure out where to plant this because I want to plant it uh, back where I would usually do the produce, sort of in the corner of the yard, but I don't know. I haven't figured it out quite yet what I want to do with this. And would you look at the irony of where I'm getting some dinner for us. I'm going to Steak and Shake, which is conveniently pretty much next to T-Mobile and the Home Depot that I went to yesterday because we're just in the mood for burgers, I guess. So I'm back home and what we ended up getting, I got some steak fries uh, for both of us. And then I got the garlic burger, but I got the barbecue Western burger. And then we got a couple shakes. I got the Oreo mint shake and then Brennan got the Reese's peanut butter shake. So it is the next day. We did not really do anything yesterday. We just both got home from work and then we had some burgers for dinner, but I did get to play this a little bit. I started the game. It's interesting because it's like, it's not the chronological story itself. Like I would have anticipated this being like, because Avatar, there are three books. So I would have thought this would have been the first book, but it is not. It's actually set after the first book, but I, I started that story and then we just both uh, ended up going to bed. 
Um, but today I'm going to have some breakfast and then play this a little bit more, I think. So I'm making some breakfast here with Arlo's assistants and Brennan wanted to have some quesadillas. She has these green tortillas that are interesting that she apparently likes. So making some quesadillas for Brennan or one quesadilla and then I'm going to make myself like a, like a, I don't know, bagel sandwich. So we're done with breakfast right now and I'm playing this lo-fi channel on the TV because it's after music. Um, cleaned the kitchen up a little bit. I don't know what we're going to be doing for lunch today, but that was a pretty late and big breakfast. What I think I need to do now, or at some point today, definitely, is I want to plant this tree. I need to figure out where I want to plant it. And I'm letting all the animals outside right now. So there's Arlo. Always sort of guards the door. <laughs> and then Farley and Calvin eventually run over the door. <laughs> you guys can do it. Go ahead. Arlo always chases the first cat out. So now everyone's outside. Hi, Farley. And what we're gonna do, so Brennan, hi Brennan. Hi. Brennan's going to use this lawnmower here, the one that I pointed out the other day. I uh, get a little workout outside while I'm setting up this one that I just bought, this lawnmower. Um, and then I can maybe clean up the yard a little bit. And then, then I think I'm going to be planting this in the corner of the yard and using this soil too. And then putting this away because we got burgers anyway last night. So Brennan finished her mowing part and I've assembled this. I'm gonna see if it works. <laughs> really well yeah it does it's on like the lowest setting Ooh, right it's now it's like steaming yeah that's scary so i've mowed the backyard and the front yard this is a very small but incredibly efficient little mower i'm taking a quick break before i do some edging and some raking here but i am very happy with this uh this purchase here of this mower so i'm almost done with the yard work and myself and brennan are going to do what later uh mini golf and cc's pizza yeah for dinner we're gonna go some CC's Pizza, then go play some mini golf. Um, I'm going to plant this tree. I'm uh, pretty tired. I've been out here for hours. I've mowed and edged, and pretty excited because uh, we haven't been able to do this since like like Halloween. I think is when our previous mower just sort of broke. Mm -hmm. um, so we've just been doing what we could uh, the entire time. But let's plant a tangerine tree, Brennan. Hey, Farley, do you like tangerines? Do you like tangerines? You hairy pup. So I'm planting this in the corner of the yard, all the way over there. Arlo! Arlo, come here! Arlo! Farley! Hey, Farley! Did you go here to check out my progress? So I've officially planted the tree in the backyard. Come here, puppy! Yeah! Hey, pups! Wanna hop up here? My grandmother used to have tangerine trees in her backyard. And uh, we always used to, whenever we would come down to Orlando, you know, for Thanksgiving, uh, we would spit the seeds at each other, my, my brothers and I. Come on, what if I what if I get in here? Come here, puppy! Come here, pups! Arlo! There's Farley. Hey, Farles. Surrounded by animals back here. So uh, when I was planting this, I dug the hole for it, and Arlo jumped into the box. He likes to do that sometimes. Um, and he, like, fell on the hole, so he might be a little bit apprehensive to to do it again. Okay, I got Arlo a little bacon treat here to try to convince him to get in the box. What do you think, puppy? Can you hop in the box? Come on, hop in the box. In the box, come on. There you go, good boy. There you go. Well, that was cute. Okay, so I think uh, we should probably be getting ready to go to dinner and mini golf here in a minute. So we've been waiting for a delivery here. That's why I've been pretty much doing everything that I possibly can do in the backyard. I'm really excited about this, by the way. <laughs> Hello again, Farley. Farley, oh my god, he's almost 10 years old. Can you believe that about this little guy? 10 years old? When did that happen? He'll be 10 years old in July. So a couple days ago, I went to T-Mobile, which is my phone carrier, and I tried to trade in my iPhone 11 Pro for the iPhone 15 Pro, which I was able to do, and I got a very good, at, at least I think so. I don't know how they sort of, whenever they do promotions, I think they just kind of move the amount that you pay for your deal for your trade-in to the plan that you are now paying for with better service and more uh, perks of the promotion but so anyway I am waiting for an iPhone 15 Pro that was going to be delivered to the house as opposed to T-Mobile because they didn't have it in stock the one that I wanted and they were supposed to at some point today before 7 o'clock p.m. deliver that phone and I have to be here in person to sign for it because it's very expensive 
um, item, uh, piece of piece of technology. Um, but it's like 6:30 right now, so we are still waiting on this phone to be delivered so that I can sign for it. That I so then I can do the trade in through the mail so I can send my iPhone 11 back to then get the promotion and then have a new phone that actually works better than the one that I have now, which is just kind of not working that great. So while we are waiting for this hopeful alleged delivery, I think we're gonna play a little Avatar The Last Airbender that I played last night. It's been a minute since I have played some Wii. The Wii still feels like a new console to me, which is weird, I know. What's sort of weird is that this game is, like I said earlier, it's like not set at the beginning of the show. that it just, I don't know, I think it's interesting that it doesn't like follow the chronology of the stories. It's sort of its own standalone story. I learned how to do that, uh, which is fun. And now on my quest to just help out, I guess. I don't know where Katara or Sokka are. Cool, huh? So the package finally arrived. It is almost dark. It was like 45 minutes after we anticipated to getting here, which I know these are only like estimate windows, but when you like I know everyone's gone through this where you like wait around an entire day for some sort of, whether it's like a maintenance service or some sort of like a special delivery. Um, but you can't really do anything about it, but yeah, I finally got it and we are starving. We never ate anything other than our breakfast this morning. Yeah, so. we both did not have lunch. I had a couple gummies. I had like some fruit snacks. All right, we have made it to CC's Pizza. We're about to eat just so much pizza. Look at this massive piezella. So we're sitting over here by the game room. Brennan is enjoying her white pizza and I have a <laughs> Delicious plate here it's myself. It's like my favorite pizza from CeCe's and they like never serve it anymore. My favorite is the taco pizza and they don't sell that at all anymore. We're sitting over by the arcade and Brennan switched places with me because the duck game over there was driving me crazy. Just the song that's playing. Um, but this is the dessert that I ended up getting and Brennan got some too already. Alright, I think we are going to bypass some of the extra activities we could be doing at CeCe's. I almost said Sea World. And uh... Thought about getting a duck here for Arlo, but just this song has been haunting me the entire time that we've been here. I used to go crazy over getting one of these whenever I came to SeaWorld. Brennan's waiting for me, but look, this one has dragons. So we've made it to Congo River Mini Golf, which is where we went last time yeah. when we did this, and it is very busy right now. But like, we did bring this. Three times as busy as it was last time. So last time we did this, we technically paid for a game in advance because it was a discount, so we get this game, or we should, for free. Okay, so we have our balls and our scorecard, scorecard, our scorecard, uh, and our uh, butters. So, we're starting off with a bit of a challenge. I'm already scared, what the heck? You can do it. So we did the other course last time, and we're doing this course, I think. Uh, the other one was more challenging. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> you see that? That was good! Over the water. You said pencil. I thought you said I knocked my pants off. Oh, oh, I knocked my pants off. That was a great <laughs> shot. All right, we just came up the stairs over here. Again, that's the course that we did last time, which I think is the more challenging course, or it's supposed to be. We're going over the water where you can do a little like paddle boat experience. Moving on to the next hole. Hi. Not terrible. Not terrible. This one, like last time. There are a lot of people here tonight. We actually took a pretty good amount of time on that first hole, and we've already caught up with everybody in front of us, so we'll see. Okay, so we're at the next hole, and we've come across our challenge wheel, so we are each going to spin this and do whatever it says. If you hit an opponent's ball with your ball on your first shot, trade overall scores with him or Okay. So how does that work if I'm the one going first? I don't know. What does mine say? Uh, use the wrong end of your club to hit the ball on your first shot. So you have to use the wrong end of your club. You ready? You ready? Yep. Oh no! Oh no! Where did, oh no! There it goes. What is that? A penalty or a redo? One or the other. Are you taking the redo or the penalty? I think I will I'll take the penalty on this one. So okay. I'll hold on to my redo. I figured it out. Ready? Yep. There when I had to go down. Right. So, Brennan does not want to hit my ball because if she hits me, Woo! which she did not, she would have traded scores with me and she's doing significantly better than me. So without giving the specifics of the score away, I have double what you have right now. 
So you're doing pretty good. Okay, you ready? Let's see if you can continue your streak. Hooray! There are a couple holes over here. What hole are you gonna try and go for? I kind of want to go for this one. The the far one? Yeah, but I Okay, try it. What's wrong with me? Like what is wrong with you? Okay, does it count? It didn't go out at all? Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Fine. We'll take it. Let's just go home. <laughs> so the holes popped out over here, so this is the second half of the course. Vernon, I'm just doing awful. Absolutely awful. I am embarrassed. I'll blame it on CCs. No, I'm gonna blame it on UPS. I thought you were gonna say I was gonna blame it on you, and I was like... <laughs> I'm loving this, like, canopy over on this golf course. I love it. Right? Okay. Cute! I, do better. I need to start doing significantly better. Yeah, you gotta catch up, boop. I'll take that. All right, that was a good one. Yep. I always film like the first one just in case one of us gets a hole in one, which does happen sometimes, but maybe not tonight. Here comes Vernon. Darn it, just when I want her to slip up, she continues to be a mini golf prodigy. Yeah. You're the goofy golf goddess. Goofy golf goddess, put it on a t-shirt. So we have another spin. If you get a hole in one on this hole, put a zero on the scorecard for the hole instead of a one. Why don't you get a hole in one? Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, that's on the line. Choose an opponent to attempt his or her next shot, holding the putter behind his or her back. Hmm. Oh, I wonder who no. I'll choose. So this is what we're considering behind the back. <laughs> oh no, it's also with my right hand. Oh no. Whatever you need to do. This looks like it could be like a legitimate technique. What if you'd gotten a hole in one on that and you had to do my task? I would have went to the bar across the street and gotten a shot. Uh. Okay, not bad. That I didn't go into the water is kind of a miracle. So yeah. I think that, I totally would have. I like this waterfall in the background. Right? I think this, this is, is like one of the most scenic courses we've been on in a say, while. It's one of the most beautiful golf courses I think that we've ever done. So, I like it here. We've done a lot, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. This one is close to like what, mid medieval times? Yeah. Maybe? Medieval times is like way further than it was. And there's Brennan. Oh my god. Watch you get a hole in one. At some point. Yeah. This is also cool because this is where you can take like that paddle boat underneath. Wait, you have to take the paddle boat under the. Yeah, because it goes around the entire, not like through the waterfall, but it, like it goes this way underneath the like cave oh, there. Oh, this way. I was like, this is the way to go. I'm yeah, yeah. I mean, you go. Yeah, I think you go that way. But so I wish I could say that I'm catching up to Brennan, but I'm absolutely not. I'm embarrassing myself. I used to be good at goofy golf, mini golf, whatever. You call it, I call it Goofy Golf. This is not the most accessible miniature golf course, but it is a lot of fun just to explore. And now we're heading into a cavern. There's the other side of the waterfall. Right there, we were just right over there. I think okay. the halfway of this course is more fun than the other ones. Really? Yeah. The more challenging course? I can't even see the, the hole. What in the heck? How do you do this? Ooh! <laughs> okay! Did you see this? That's cool. Alright, we are out of the cave and we're spinning another wheel. Okay, if you get hole in one, uh, trade overall scores with an opponent. No! Yay! Yours keep on being really like. Not great. Yeah, they're terrible for me. And now for me, uh, use only your foot to hit the ball for every shot on this hole. That's not terrible. My foot. Okay, so Roy has to use only his foot. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa! Penalty, sir! No, no, redo. Okay, so Roy wasn't happy with that one, so he's gonna do his redo. However, he still has to use his foot. All right, much better. I'm trying not to get a hole in one. I think you should get a hole in one. Because why wouldn't you want my amazing, incredible score? I don't know. Hole in one! No! Please! <laughs> it would make it more interesting. Woo! So we are officially over halfway done with the course now. I can't even see, but I think you got pretty close. All the way down there. Can Roy get better than this? Let's we'll see. There's this cool mine, like over here, and we've come up the steps to our next hole here. We've caught up with the groups in front of us again. Okay, I'm going to try something. Mm -hmm. So instead of going down here, okay. That's brave. I know. I don't have a lot to lose at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like your ball. It'll. It should. It'll be fine. You ready? I'm ready. There it is. It went? Yep. Okay. Now are you going to do that or are you going to go the right way? I don't know. Let's see what she decides to do. Oh, she went the, the correct way. Interesting. I don't know. Which side ended up being Ooh. better. Oh, my goodness. oh no. It's fun, right? No, it's not a lot further like You than step I over the water like that. That's cool. <laughs> All right, so we've encountered another spinning challenge. Play, Play the, the hole normally. normally. <laughs> okay. Wow, good luck that, with that one. <laughs> After everyone has taken their first shot, move an opponent's ball <gasps> by the length of your club. Cool. No. This is like a really long hole all the way down there. Here he goes down the long path. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I'm gonna move. Can I move it a putter's length out of the course so mm -hmm. then you automatically get a penalty? I don't think so. I know, but I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> is that a putter's length or is the putter's length like the tip of it? Oh. <laughs> I'll that take would be, that would be I'll take it, I'll take it. Right? <laughs> it's pretty cool getting to see the other section of the course that we didn't get to do because we did this other one last time and, and now just getting to see the entirety of this like Congo golf course. Brennan! Like this like teacups ride. I was gonna get in there but it's flooded. Is this your winter home? Yeah, this is all my winter home. <laughs> you get it? I do. We're getting pretty close to the end of this course. Just waiting for Brennan to get her hole in one pretty much at this point. Alright, let's see if Roy can beat this. Pretty close. You just need to do horrendous at this point <laughs> for me to catch up. So, can you do that? <laughs> All right, as we approach this next hole, we've got another challenge to do. Stick what am over I going to do? rocks, too. It, okay, oh, you cannot read this on the camera, but it says after everyone has taken their first shot, move an opponent's ball by the length of your club. Did you see this that we walked over? We did walk over this. That was cool. If you hit an opponent's ball with your first shot, trade scores. <gasps> Ooh, okay. So there's a lot at stake with this one. So Brennan does get to move my ball after I shoot though, but if I can hit her ball, which is like right there, I get your score. Ha <laughs> ha. See, it doesn't matter because ooh, ooh. I thought I was gonna get your entire score, not just for this hole. You, why did you think that we would because just trade I scores? I just wanted to have your score. <laughs> Are you gonna move on a club length now? Yes. Where am I going? Put me closer? You could use it. Oh my God. <laughs> That was also a little bit more than a club length, you, you estimated. That's fine. So we are heading up the steps to get closer to concluding our uh, 
evening tonight's mini golfing. This is so cool. We're heading up to the uh, to the waterfall up here. It looks like. Ooh, okay. Hey, hit the I altered the shutter speed on the camera so the lights wouldn't flicker as bad. Stanley Pond. I don't see any pretzels in there at all. Do you get it? Pretzel? The office. This is a pretty cool perspective to see the waterfall from, from this angle. This is absolutely one of the best courses I think that we have ever done, definitely, at least in a very long time. It's so well maintained. They were even like working on the maintenance of it and it's past 10 o'clock p.m. right now. Could be any of these. So this one has a bunch of different holes. Which one are you going for? Uh, I'm just gonna wing it. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Whoa! You still have not used your redo this entire game, but it still somehow made it to this level. Okay. Do you want to take it? I'll take it. Why not? What the crap, dude? <laughs> I don't know if you'd consider that cheating, but I don't think Roy did, so I'm going to take it. All right. Oh, it's good. Oh, I got a hold of one! I you did! One. You did! One. You did! Oh my god! Dude! What? Congratulations! <laughs> so the unfortunate reality is that that will not help me whatsoever with my, my score this evening, but I'm still pretty proud of myself. All right, can you do a hole in one again? Uh, no. <laughs> See? So this is actually pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> I guess we are behind the waterfall now. Look at that. Turn in. What the heck? <laughs> Disqualified. Why? Because it's not allowed. And I want to win this game even though I'm definitely not going to. It's getting pretty late. We have one more hole after this. So yeah, this is the very final hole. And it's going to be another spinning challenge too. We're pretty much back where we started. You ready to spin? I'm ready. Do you get something interesting this time? Wait, hole is normally. Use the wrong end of your club. Okay. Okay. Your turn. And when you finish this hole, subtract one from your score. Yay! All right, Brennan's going for it. Gonna get with the opposite end of her club. It wasn't as exciting as it could have been. Oh my God, she almost got a hole in one on the final hole. I hope you get a hole in one. What? I don't know. Whoa, 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 oh no! I get to subtract my penalty, I guess. So the score has been tallied, and Brennan, you won. You got 44 and I got 54, so oh, you just no. destroyed me. Oh, no. I wanna get some ice cream. Ice cream? Which one are you gonna get? I'm gonna get a rainbow ice. How would I know? Ooh. Yay, ice cream, mini melts. So we came inside the game room, which is a little bit small, but guess what they have here, Vernon? <laughs> they do have a duck machine, but then they also have a pokeball machine. I want to be a little winner. They do have some like gemstone mining over here, panning for gold. I think so that's pretty neat. I'm not a little winner today at all, or a big winner. All right, so we made it back home, and it's almost midnight right now, so it's very late, but that was our little date night, getting some pizza and playing some mini golf. Tomorrow, I'm setting up my iPhone 15 Pro. All right, it is bright and early the next day. It is time to set up my new iPhone. So the files are transferring right now, but I wanted to come out into the backyard and water my new tree. Look at this beautiful tangerine tree. I'm going to be eating tangerines from this tree and no time. There's a puppy over here somewhere. There he is. Good morning, puppy. Watch your raising canes ball. There you go. Oh, and there's a kitty too. And there's Calvin. Good morning, Calvin. 
Okay. So the phone transfer is going to take a pretty significant amount of time, and I put in an order at Cracker Barrel to pick up some breakfast, so I'm going to go do that without a phone, and then I'm also going to the post office to mail this probably first before picking up the food, but this is a pillow that I gave away at a live stream recently. I'm sending this to Canada. It feels really weird to leave the house intentionally without a phone. Like, it feels like it's not allowed and dangerous, but... What did people do before? All right, a quick stop at the post office and then off to Cracker Barrel. I am pretty hungry. Did it cost double the price of the pillow to send that to Canada? Yes, it did. But the amount of stuff that people have sent me in the mail over the years from international countries, I think it's reasonably fair to not have a problem with that. All right, so I made it to Cracker Barrel. I'm heading inside to pick up the food and then head back home to enjoy the morning with Brennan. Every single time I'm in Cracker Barrel, I always get distracted by all of the different sodas and candies and snacks and stuff, but I have the food, so I'm heading back to the car. So I am back home, and here's the breakfast that I have for us. Are you excited, Brennan? Yay! So I just got a, I got the pancake breakfast, so I have some blueberry pancakes and some bacon and eggs, and then this loaded hash brown casserole. I have some biscuits over there. Um, and then you got the loaded, like, hash brown breakfast there with bacon and eggs. It's like an entire casserole. What do you think about that, puppy? Hi. Which iPhone, puppy? <laughs> Which iPhone do you prefer? He's an Android dog. <laughs> so the transfer was a success. So this is the 11, this is the 15. You can sort of see like the difference there like in the lenses for like the camera. It's pretty cool. And like the sides are like, they're going back towards this sort of a design versus being like more like rounded with the edges of the phone. But I am putting this back in the box to send this off and then using my new iPhone 15 Pro. Yeah, blurry. Okay, so now I'm at the UPS store to finally return my phone and complete this phone process. So we're in Publix right now, and there's this like interesting phenomenon. Um, also, there's like a Blue Angels blend here for like Pensacola, but like if you stand over here, you can sort of hear like the echo of people talking up here, so to prove it, I went over on this side of the aisle and Brennan stood over there and I was just looking at all these bags of chips and I was just talking really loudly even though there were people around me and I was like wow I love chips and just surrounded by people uh, because I wanted to like prove that the sound bounced off of that um, so yeah it was it was funny if you if you were here this is a Publix that I've gone to for some theme park food challenges from time to time which I should consider doing that again shouldn't I so we're back home from the store we've pretty much put everything away I had to get these Dragon Ball Z Reese's Puffs which, speaking of Reese's, didn't get these today, but brownie mix with Reese's sounds awesome. And uh, this reminded me of, so the solar eclipse is very soon. Uh, I think it's like in a couple days. And a lot of businesses are sort of capitalizing on that. Krispy Kreme is selling like an eclipse donut, which is like an Oreo donut, uh, or like an Oreo cookie on top of a donut. Um, and then even, I think Cracker Barrel had like solar eclipse pancakes for like the pancakes were like sort of on top of each other, which was sort of funny. Um, and then this is, at some point, I'll be using this here. So I got this as like a kindling for the uh, the coal tower that I have. And then uh, hopefully a very dependable lighter to be able to use this. All right, everybody, who wants to go outside? Do you want to go outside, puppy? Do you want to go outside? Yeah, you're dancing around. Okay, let's go. Let's go check on the tree. Ugh. No, okay. There's Calvin and Farley. Hey kitties. And of course there goes Arlo. Consistently chasing the kitties around the yard. All right puppy, what do you think Arlo? Do you wanna hop into the flower bed this time? There he goes, Calvin. Where are you? Calvin. Oh, he's back there. Calvin! There's Farley. And... The elusive Calvin. Hey, Calvin. Hi. How are you doing? And then, of course, the pups. Arlo, who's this? Arlo, who's this? We found Arlo's favorite toy, Eeyore, in the back of Brennan's car. So it's been lost for a little while. And something that he does that I think is pretty cute is that if this pillow, sometimes not even when it's like knocked over, but Arlo does jump up there. <laughs> sometimes he'll just like jump up here and just sort of perch on this pillow. Like if we're sitting on the couch, he will actually go behind us 
and it sit on this little pillow. And it's like his little puppy throne. What do you think, puppy? Okay, goodbye. All right, so Brennan is taking a nap right now and I'm heading over to Gods and Monsters, which is like a comic book store, sort of over by Universal on International Drive, I think. And I'll be able to use my new iPhone 15 Pro to navigate over there, even though I know where it is. Um, I was thinking about this earlier, so I'm going to be looking for Lorcana. And I, I miss like the thrill of the scavenger hunt that was just searching for Pokemon cards. And I think I'm still just trying to keep that, that adrenaline and enthusiasm going with Lorcana. And that's why I'm going to Gods and Monsters. Like it's not hard to find trading card game product anymore, but if there's something that's just new or just something that is just thrilling to me, um, then I'll probably try to pursue that. So I'm heading over to Gods and Monsters now to again, give Brennan a little, a little quiet time around the house because she's taking a nap. So I can't exactly see where I'm pointing the camera right now because it's all the way over there, but somewhere over there is Epic Universe. So it's very exciting and surreal to actually see this in person after it's been officially announced as what the lands are going to be. So this is the Orlando Crossings Mall and this is Gods and Monsters. I'm just going to go in here really quickly to see if I can get some more con. I did call in advance. I always show the bar back here, fall 54, 21. Pretty cool, and I keep saying this, but I do want to come back with Brennan at some point to enjoy a drink back there. Something that's pretty cool is that they have a little golden book here about Zuko. I think that's pretty adorable. They also have these over here for Disney attractions, Space Mountain, Jungle Cruise, a Haunted Mansion. It's a small world. Okay, but this is what I'm here for. The Lorcana, they have Rise of the Bloodborne and Into the Inkland, so then I'm also getting this little Diglett sticker. So I ended up just getting a couple of the packs from the sets that they were selling. Lorcana is really expensive compared to Pokemon, and the pull rates for this are pretty atrocious as far as my and Brennan's elect goes, but it's always fun to just find this and open it. But I want to go ahead and end the video now because this has been over the course of several days and has included just random purchases like a tangerine tree and a lawnmower and a new iPhone and then just where we ended up eating randomly, me playing a video game, which I don't do that that often. Um, I don't know, but we had some CCs, which I love CCs. It really just brings me back a very nostalgic place that I spent a lot of time, not a lot of time at, but I went there with my brothers and, and, and family just back at Pensacola growing up. Uh, and then playing some mini golf, which is a classic date for myself and Brennan, which is going to CCs and then having some uh, a mini golf competitive evening as far as like a date. So it was really just fun. And, and um, I don't know, that's why these videos are sort of like these cathartic uh, journal entry updates about my life, which I don't tend to want to do that that often, but it's also fun for me to be able to look back at. Um, and yeah, and uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go and open these packs and uh, head on out of, of this, this mall that is always pretty quiet with the exception of Gods and Monsters back here, which we will come back to at some point and go to that bar, I hope. So thanks for watching, I'll see you soon, have a great day, and goodbye.